Welcome to Too Easy to Learn. Learn with Mr. Big. Today's topic is graphical solution of linear inequalities. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to find the equation of a straight line, identify the required region, write the inequalities that represent the required region and apply their understanding by solving past paper questions related to graphical solution of inequalities. Let's start our lesson. Student, for this lesson, for this topic, the prerequisite is equation of straight line. Student must know how to find equation of a straight line. I'm going to briefly describe this method, how to find equation of straight line, but for detailed understanding, you must go through the coordinate geometry topic, the equation of straight line. Now, there are three types of straight lines. X is equal to A, Y is equal to B, and Y is equal to MX plus C. Let's discuss one by one. If you look at this line, this is a vertical line. PQ is a vertical line which is parallel to Y axis and it just passes through the X axis at 2. So its equation is X is equal to 2. So vertical line always has equation X is equal to the number where it is intersecting the X axis y axis is also passes through the x axis at 0 so therefore its equation is x is equal to 0 so equation of y axis is x is equal to 0 now second type is y is equal to b now if you look at this line mn it is parallel to x axis and it is horizontal and just passes through the y axis at negative 3 so equation of this straight line, which is a horizontal straight line, y is equal to minus 3. x-axis is also a horizontal line and intersecting at y on 0. So equation of y x-axis is y is equal to 0. There is a third type of straight line and its standard equation is y is equal to mx plus c where m is gradient of this straight line and c is y-intercept. So if you look at this line pq, it is a tilted line. It has slope and in mathematics, the slope is called gradient. The gradient of a straight line is called slope. And we know how to find slope. Slope is rise over run. So gradient of a straight line is rise over run. There is also another formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But right now we are going to use here rise over run. So rise is 3 and run is 2. So the gradient of this straight line is negative 3 over 2. Why it is negative? Because it is falling right side. When the line is going down right side, its gradient is negative. So y intercept is 3. So value of c is 3. So equation of this straight line, pq straight line is y is equal to minus 3 over 2x plus 3. So student, you must know how to find equation of straight line for this topic. Next important portion of this topic is to identify a required region, which is also called a satisfied region. So let's discuss how to identify a required region. We already discussed three types of equation, x is equal to a, which is a vertical straight line and parallel to y-axis. So pq is a vertical straight line parallel to x y-axis and passes through 2. So equation of this straight line is x is equal to 2. If you observe, this straight line divides graph in two parts. It's on the left-hand side and also on the right-hand side. 
if we observe the left hand side region all x coordinates are greater than 2 this 2 0 negative 1 lesser than 2 sorry all x coordinate on the left hand side region are lesser than 2 so 2 0 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 so the inequality of this region is x lesser than or equal to 2 students keep in your mind inequality is for the region and equation is for the line now if we observe the right hand side of this pq line all x coordinates are greater than 2 2 3 4 5 and so on so inequality for this right hand side region is x greater than or equal to 2 so you can keep a rule in your mind if the line is vertical so left hand side region is x lesser than a and on the right side x greater than or equal to a let's discuss second type of line y is equal to b and we know that this is the horizontal line parallel to x-axis it passes through the y-axis at x is equal to at uh, negative 2 so equation of this straight line is y is equal to negative 2 this mn line divides the graph in two parts above the graph and below the graph if you observe all points above this line all x y coordinates above this line are greater than negative 2 so we can say the region above the line is y greater than or equal to negative 2 and if we observe the region below the line so all y coordinates are lesser than negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 and so on so we can say the inequality for the region below the line is y lesser than or equal to negative 2 now let's discuss the type of line y is equal to mx plus c m is the gradient of the line and c is y intercept now we have a line pq first we need to find the equation of this line pq so equation of this line is y is equal to 2 over 3x plus 2 this graph this line pq also divide the graph in two parts this is called above the line so this region is above the line so inequality for this region is y greater than or equal to 2 over 3x plus 2 and this part this portion of the graph is below the line and what sim inequality symbol we should use for the below the line lesser than so y lesser than or equal to 2 over 3x plus 2 so you can keep in your mind a rule above mean greater and below mean lesser so above the graph mean greater than y greater than and below the line mean y lesser than so let's discuss one more example pq line so the line pq is a straight line but tilted so its equation is y is equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 2 so this is below the line this portion shaded portion is below the line so what should be the inequality for this the inequality for this is y lesser than or equal to 2 over 3x plus 2 and what about this portion this portion is above the graph so above the graph means that y should be greater than 2 over 3x plus 2 
the students you must have a rule if the region is above the graph y should be greater and if region is below the graph y should be lesser if region is on the left hand side x should be lesser and if the region is on the right hand side of the line x should be greater let's discuss past paper question question number one the shady region inside this is very important word inside the shadow region inside the triangle ABC defined by three inequalities. One of these is x plus y lesser than 5 over number 1 over 2. Write down the other two inequalities to mark question. And how many points with integer coordinates lie in the shadow region? One mark question. First, we need to find x plus y lesser than five and half is of which line so y five whole number one over two mean 5.5 is the y intercept so this is the y intercept 5.5 it's mean that this x plus y lesser than 5.5 is equation of the line bc so it is the inequality of line bc and you see the region is below the line that's why it is lesser than these lines are dotted that's why there is no equal sign and also there is a word inside written in this question no we have to find other two inequalities we have to find the line ab inequality and we have to find the line ac inequality before finding the inequality we must find equation of these lines so equation of line a b line a b is the horizontal line and passes through the y axis at one so it's mean that equation of line a b is y is equal to one and region this gray region is above the line so what should be the inequality y greater than 1 so inequality of line a b is y greater than 1 now let's find the equation of line a c it is a tilted line so its standard form is y is equal to mx plus c so we need to find gradient of this line and y intercept of this line so to find the gradient we must know the rise so rise is and this is run so gradient is m is equal to rise over run rise is one two three four blocks and run is one two four over two is the line ac going right up so gradient is positive so gradient on this line ac is two this line is passes through the origin it's mean its y intercept is 0. So c value of c is 0. So equation of this line AC is y is equal to 2x plus 0 and y is equal to 2. Now, shadow region is below the line. You see, this shadow region is below the line AC. So therefore, inequality of this line AC is y lesser than 2x how many parts points with integer coordinates lie in the shadow region so integer coordinates mean that the coordinate must not be in decimal or fraction so if you observe this point 2 3 this point has 2 2 and this point has 3 2 so there are three point in this region which has integer coordinates. Thanks for watching this video lesson. See you in next lesson.